out what up so again as i said in my previous video this is a video of me playing some duel with the cheesy calves i call them cheesy because of course you can't stop lebron and of course you can't stop kyrie Irving. so honestly you have to focus on getting the ball out of either one of their hands um the thing that really like i seen them and i was like oh man i really don't want to play the calves like sometimes it takes too much work you know but as you can see the dude is in there um He's in his zone. Like I said, jump shooting was horrible as usual. He was either in a 2-3 or a 3-2. As you can see, LeBron, literally, he gets past anybody. Fast break or not, foul or not, like he, he, he's finishing with the contact. Um, it kind of makes it difficult to actually stop him. But um, when you're not, when they're not playing off-ball defense, it makes it a lot easier, honestly, because um, high percentage of the shots going in. Um, like I said, it's still inconsistent. As you can see, I hit, I took two shots with Mark. Uh, I think that's Mark Keith. I'm, I'm not sure. One of the Morris brothers. I took two shots with him in the same area, at the same release point in back-to-back -back plays. He missed one. He made the second one. Like I said, I'm not expecting to hit every shot I take, however, a higher consistency, especially seeing as though so many people are playing the zone and playing off court defense this year to kind of force people to hit the jump shot. Anyway, um, I'm not sure, but I um, think, no, actually, I keep um, Stanley Johnson on LeBron James this game. Uh, I just, you know, I just did whatever. I mean, it was pretty much whatever. And, at the end of the game, it's actually Stanley Johnson that helps us win this because he actually, he's the best defender, on-board defender, I believe, Pistons have rated in this game. So typically, I put the best on-board defender on one of the offensive weapons of a team. So if you have Kyrie and LeBron, I mean, if I would have put Stanley Johnson on Kyrie Irving, then Brandon Jennings or Reggie Jackson would have been holding LeBron James, which either way wouldn't help. Either way. So anyway, towards the end of the game, he starts trying to go one on one with LeBron James, get to the rack. Um, as you can see, I just started contesting it, hands up. The shots was missing. He was getting frustrated because he was trying to do it, trying to bulldog, and I wasn't allowing him to. And honestly, that's what defense is about, is not allowing the offense to get comfortable or do the things that they really want to do when they want to do it. So you just disrupting the flow of their offense, which is in turn supposed to help you play better. Um, a lot of inconsistencies. Like I said, sometimes shots go in, sometimes they don't. Um, I'm starting to think that uh, what 2K is trying to do is like, you know, I guess if you're home or you're away, uh, the shooting percentage portrays like it's probably a higher shooting percentage if you're home. In regards to the last couple of years, it really didn't matter if you were home or away. Um, I'm starting to think that's what 2K is trying to do. They're trying to make it so if you're home, you get a higher percentage of hitting shots in regards to away. Um, like I said, this is just me coming up with a hypothesis because I really can't understand how I'm missing, you know, so many shots sometimes away or home. But, you know, um, I don't know. I'm just coming up with, with some bullshit trying to, you know, make 2K look better. Anyway, as you can see, he's going to be playing off-ball defense, like I said in previous videos. It's like a common occurrence this year. Um, it's actually, I think it was like three, four years ago when a lot of people used to run a lot of off ball. They used to run a 1 3 1 zone, sit in the middle with the small forward, and just pick off passes all the time. And it was annoying. It was cheesy. It was no way to really beat it. You know, people was really mad. And then the next year, 2K responded by raising the shooting percentage if the person is allowing the computer to play defense on you instead of playing on board defense. So, um, again, you know, it's the game is all about taking away weapons. I hate that, like, on-board defense. Sometimes you're in front of them, then you're on the side of them for no reason. You know, I, I wasn't pressing turbo. I was just pressing that, oh, man, it's glitchy. I was just pressing aggressive defensive button. Instead of staying in front of him, he went to the side of him. LeBron had an open shot. He hit it. Anyway, it's all about taking away weapons. Like I said, disrupting the flow. In this game, I have the players, I believe, on deny at first. And then eventually what I do is switch to moderate and moderate because he wasn't hitting jump shots. He was only going to the rack. I think he was only hitting jump shots with Kyrie Irving. But um, it wasn't consistent. So I just took the risk of just going moderate to keep him from getting to the rack because that's where he scored most of his points. And um, forcing him to come to the rack and then pretty much just stopping his drive. What a lot of people do on a fast break, they just try and bulldog, speed burst, they run in a circle, eventually they get to the rack. I mean, and then the defense sometimes is so slow to recover 
that they make it so hard to like try and switch and, and jump in the pass lane or play defense. <laughs> they they, they kind of make it hard. So it's, it's, sometimes it's kind of difficult to actually stop it if somebody's trying to go into the mode where they just like trying to run straight to the rack. Like here, I, I don't know how Moscow picked me out of bounds and LeBron had a free thing to the rim. But um, they make it kind of hard to like keep switching and playing defense and doing everything itself. Pick and rolls. Another thing, um, as I stated before, where it's inconsistent. The picks are not where they're supposed to be. Sometimes they're off to the left. Sometimes they're off to the right. Sometimes they're too far back or too far in front of you, and you gotta change your direction in order to like hit the pick. Which I mean, it's understandable. However, a true pick is gonna come shoulder to shoulder, right next to the the defender, in order to um, force the defensive player to have to either fight through the screen or go under it. There's no way anybody should be able to just run straight through a screen, like back to back. It's, 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 a, it's a screen is a screen for a reason. You're supposed to have to fight through it, to fight under it, fight over it, or trap. If you if the pick is not working the way it's supposed to, then the offense can work. Anyway, as I stated, um, he tries to come back. I shut that down. We end up winning by I think 10. Um, Stanley Johnson closed the game out for us with some great defense from LeBron James, putting their hand up on shots, and then he just started missing them. He's in his zone, so as you can see, every time I see the person start cheating, I hit the, the corner. Hopefully the shot goes in towards the end of the game. They started going in. Ilya Silva, he sealed the game with the offense, and Stanley Johnson closed it with the defense. Again, Kingston, Kingston Media, if you have any questions, hit me up. This is just a quick video, nine minutes. Give you guys, um, you know, that, uh, that, little, that little glitch right there just killed me. Give you guys... Um, you know, uh, little videos on how to beat tier one teams. You can beat any team with any team, honestly. It's just all about your offense and defense. If you have offense but not defense, somebody scores more points than you, you lose. You got great, or if you have good offense and good defense, then the person has to be twice as good in order to beat you. Again, any questions, hit me up. Here's the end of the video, the conclusion. Here goes the audio. Cavaliers again can't hit. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Jennings kicks to Johnson. The Pistons rebound. Jennings passes to Ilias Open. Johnson outside. Dishes it to Jennings. And there's the foul on Kyrie Irving. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. Outside Jennings. The feed to Ilyasova. It's back to Jennings. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Irving from long range. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. And here's Jennings outside. No good there. And so the Pistons take the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg.